In this video, we're going to talk about one shots and the pattern system inside of Loop Cloud 2.0. So first of all, let's go ahead and check out one shots. To do that, all I need to do is hit the one shot button up here at the top of the screen. And now all my results, no matter what I do with the searching or the filtering system, will only display one shots. And that's the same with the loops here. If I switch it to loops, we will only see the loops and we'll be excluding one shot. So I'm going to go ahead and click one shots, go to instruments, drums, kick drum, and I'm going to go ahead and audition some kicks. So there's a kick, and if I come into Ableton Live and go ahead and play this little loop I have, you'll see that there's already a pattern being applied to that kick, and that's the automatic pattern for the kick and it's just a four to the floor. However, if we come in, we have some other options here, like a different kick pattern, for example. So that'd be more of a breakbeat style kick. every two bars, and so forth. Now once I find the one shot that I want to use inside of my project, I just go ahead and click download high quality file. And once that's downloaded, I'll have two versions. I'll have the original, which is just the one shot and the process. The process version will take into account any of these parameters that I've adjusted here. So if I've pitched this kick, for example, or if I've used a pattern, or if I've changed the BPM, those changes will be cemented inside of the process version. So let me show you what I mean. If I click and drag the original, I've got just one click. But if I click and drag the process version, you'll see that I have a loop at two bars because that's the pattern I was using. And now if I just click and drag over, I've got that kick happening every two bars and it's ready to go and I don't have to make any other changes to the audio. And that's going to work the same way with any other patterns or any other one shots that you use. The process version will have any of that processing done to it, including the patterns. And it just makes life a lot easier to be able to drag and drop those loops right inside of your DAW. So that's the pattern feature inside of Loop Cloud 2.0.